I joined the Man's Open member and Speaker of National Parliament and joined Chairman of the Man's Autonomy Committee, Honorable Joe Pomat. In embracing all of you this morning and over the next three days here at Ecom Secondary School on Manners. I thank the leadership of the church and the management of the school for accepting our request to hold the Manus Future Forum here. Thank you, Principal Mr. Ponoan and Deputy Principal Mr. Poppers and your team for creating a nice atmosphere for the forum. We need to look side of good day. We need to look side of good day with the present of big man to stop on Jenny. So this morning, and you give me good weather, we're not really hot, but the good brother solo this black and sit down also. The question is, is autonomy a viable option for manners? That is the question that we will be dealing with. That is the team of this forum. It's the question that at the end of three days, on the 4th of July 2019, we will together come up with the answer. The voices of different works of life would have been heard. From the remotest of the small island communities in Western Islands, to the internationally renowned Manu scholars and professionals, and everyone in between, our voices would have been heard. The journey started when the Provincial Executive Council in July and August of 2018 resolved to find answers, answers to several questions. The questions related to three issues. Firstly, where is Manus today in implementing the system of provincial government and local level government? We must know what we are able to do under the laws and what we have done or not done before we can talk about anything else we want. Secondly, we must know, we must know what we are and who we are in our country in order to rise up and take our rightful place in giving meaning to Papua New Guinea as an independent country. One simple thing that makes Manus different from every province in the country is that Manus is one province and one district. How has that affected the government and administration of the island province? And thirdly, in embracing autonomy, what form of autonomy would best suit what man is this? Not only in Papua New Guinea, but also on Earth. A small team started work on the 1st of November 2018. They began by giving meaning to what man's government wanted and putting a process in place that would not only provide the answers but also prepare key stakeholders to own and implement the outcome. The process includes the involvement of a wide range of people as it may be possible in the conversation. The Manus leaders at a provincial level, local level government up to the 131 wards throughout the province have been involved in different aspects of the world. The provincial administration under the pro pro provincial administrator has been actively involved in facilitating the process. Manus individuals and groups outside of Manus have had their voices heard. The experiences available in Papua New Guinea and the country's laws are guiding the way in shaping the future 
of the problems. For the next three days, we shall be involved in the pilot consultation process by having a conversation around the question, is autonomy a viable option for minds? The simple answer may be, yes, it is viable. No, it is not viable. Or the answer is, it's somewhere in between. Manus have made the word autonomy popular some years ago. Many people in position of power and influence hear the word at the time. As you all are aware, that our team leader, Stephen Pokawi, one of those people, and the others are the leaders from Living Islands, were held accountable for that. In fact, they were going to go to jail. Sergius was going to put them all in jail. But today we know that Sergius province is one of the best provinces that have received autonomy. Today the world, the word is being used readily, even by those who oppose it before. As we meet here today, the government of Papua New Guinea had accepted the idea. Bougainville is an autonomous region. The government has granted autonomy to three provinces, East New Britain, Enga, and the Wailan province. That is why the governors, our country's 22 provinces, understood each of them. The question by the announcement by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill was made in Medellin in 2017. The governors of three provinces were happy. Other governors say, we also want. At the time I said, Bougainville has got autonomy. New Island, East New Britain, and Enga are being given autonomy. I said, Manus wants independent. Many people responded in this field, or saw it as a joke, joke, or just ignored it. Among these people were many young and future Manus leaders. Prime Minister Honorable James Marathe, on taking office earlier this last month, echoed sentiments that brings well to our ears. He talked about autonomy, economic independence, the strength of the country being in the 22 provinces. If the 22 provinces can be helped to help themselves, then they can help themselves and contribute to the country. He, won't, he went on as far as saying, Manu shall be the first province to become a corporate tax free job. When he announced that Manus shall be the first province to become a corporate tax region, I get many leaders in government and business say, What? Is this a joke? What good can come out of Manus? It is nothing there. No business. No industry, very little resources. It depends entirely on the national government. How can it become a free trade zone? What do you say? What do you say? In my quiet moments, I feel that a moment for manners has come.
and it is now. We have the option to take it and run with it, or we sit back and watch the wind blow in the world, in a way, elsewhere. We must rise up and claim the ideals of the PNG Constitution by removing any form of oppression and aspire for higher ideals or continue to let others define our destiny by accepting what they say about us. When the Provincial Executive Council decided for the modern autonomy project to go ahead, we made clear two things. One, autonomy means provincial economic independence. And two, it must be done according to the laws of the country. Let us not remain comfortable by the state of affairs that has been imposed on us. The autonomy of our people was taken away by the system of government and business that was imposed on us. They say Manus is the most unviable province in the country. In no way can Manus stand on its own feet. Manus does not have the land. Manus has no minerals. Manus has no industries. Manus will forever be dependent on the national government for its livelihood. What did he say? What do we, as the people, say? It is time we take stock of what Manus, in fact, is. Only when we know what we have, what we are made up of, and where we truly are, and what and where we can be, will he remove the veil that distorts the way we see ourselves and triggers all the 70,000 manus energies into creating a dynamic island economy. <laughs> the Manus provincial government decides to play Manus future by pursuing a form of autonomy that is allowed under the laws of Papua New Guinea. In so doing, it resolved and issued instructions to establish a process that would, within 12 months, submit to the Provincial Executive Council not only a report, but also a plan of action to implement a form of autonomy that is viable for Manus as a province given its circumstances. Seven months of the 12 months ended only two days ago. This forum comes at the start of the eighth month. After this week, the information and ideas collected will be processed together with what the team has been working on. On October 2019, the report and action plan will be submitted to the Provincial Executive Council. We will begin implementing in November 2019. Only two weeks ago, the Manus Integrated Development Plan 2 was launched in the MIDP2 Autonomy is Future. What are we going with? What are we doing starting today? We'll give clarity to that part of the plan. The restructure of Manus Provincial Administration has been held back to await the outcome of this process. We are not going to restructure for the sake of restructure. We will restructure to create an administrative machinery that brings together what Manus can do and that laws of our to create a future for itself. When I see you all, I do not see people only. I also see ideas, views, and dreams. Ideas, views, and dreams that words will express for all of us to hear, know, 
and do. It reminds me of these words, which I want to finish with. Well known words, they are not mine, they are profound, they are ours. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He created all things except by man by speaking the words. He said, Let it be light. And there was light. The power of words. For man, God did not speak for man to become man. He made man in his own hands. He put man out of the dust. He breathed into his nostrils the bread of life, and man became a living soul. Man became a living being. He blew life into man, and in a way, we became like God. In the next three days, this forum will use the most important tool to answer the question Is autonomy a viable option for us? We will use words to continue what God has granted to man. He has given us all we need. He has not held back anything from us. Let us not waste our words. Let us not play with words. Let us use words as, is, as it is designed to be used. On behalf of the people, leader, the church, the school, the government of Manus will make this forum available for the words to be used to answer the question Is autonomy a viable option for Manus? A couple of nights ago, before I came, I had a dream. I normally do not have dreams, but I did have a dream. And in that dream, I saw myself driving my vehicle, this ten seater. There were a people, people sitting with me. For example, I was one of them. And I drove to the shore. And I drove into the sea. Normally, vehicles don't drive into the sea. But I drove into the sea. And I was going to start the vehicle because for me to go into the seat of vehicle, I had to start on the engine. But it couldn't start, but the vehicle was moving into the seat. And it was driving out, and there were lots of waves. And I was wondering how can I get this vehicle? To go into the ocean without the engine in start. I was wondering. But I was flipping out and the sea came. It didn't affect me. It came through first wave, second wave, another big wave, and then I went. And then I woke up. And then I asked this question what is happening? Maybe. As we go through this challenge of this question of autonomy, definitely we will go through waves. And for the engine to start, we need our God and we need all of you to play your part. But the good thing is, the vehicle did not sink. The vehicle flowed on the sea and we fell. It is my dream. And it should be your dream, it must be our dream, that in 10 years' time, echoing the word of the Prime Minister, he said, in 10 years' time, he wants Papua New Guinea to become the richest black Christian country in the world. <laughs> echoing his dream, I want all of us to put this at the back of my mind, our mind, and work towards it. In 10 years' time, Manus 
must become, would become the envy of all the provinces in the country because we have moved on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let it begin.